you, Zimbabwe, for tuning into yet another informative edition of your program. This is Agricultural New Directions, Agribusiness, and my name is Wazanae Manyore. So today we are here in Mashona Land West in Magunje, where we are going to be having a field day that has been uh, made possible by Empower Bank. We are going to be having various stakeholders participating, including farmers and even school children who have come to grace this event. We are also having the Honorable Minister of Mashona Land West, Miss Mary Muliswa Chikoka, and also the Minister of Youth, Miss Kes Coventry, and also the Deputy Minister Tinotenda Machakaire. On this event, we are going to be looking at how private partnerships are helping the population here in Zimbabwe in terms of advancements in agricultural issues. We are looking at sustainability in farming. For this and more, we are going to be crossing over to the podium and listening to the speech from our guest of honor. Stay tuned. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Honourable members of Parliament here present, permanent secretaries, our chiefs, and all the traditional leadership here present, representatives of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, chairperson of the Empower Bank, and all of the Empower Bank staff, membership, and management, directors of ministry departments and agencies, other senior government officials, our local political leadership, captains of industries and commerce, our young tobacco farmers under the Empower Bank, Youth Business Starter Pack, Zimbabwe Youth Council and all youth associations, all youths here present, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It is with great pleasure and honor for me to officiate today at the Empower Banks Tobacco Youth Business Starter Pack Field Day here in Rongui District of Mashonaland West Province. agency in my ministry which is mandated to develop and economically empower the youth in line with the national development strategy NDS 1. Empower Bank, if bank in our course as a cool ministry yet on your youth, no good in Empower Bank, the moment say it up to Tikwani Sekoshika, Pamona or a national development strategy one. The field day today showcases the good work the bank is doing and the incredible work our young people are doing. It is also pleasing to note that the bank spread its reach to this area of our country in line with the cross-cutting national development strategy priority area of devolution. This is an appropriate response to His Excellency, our President E.D. Manigawa's call of leaving no one and no place behind. <laughs> Today's field day is significant in that the fruitful, in that it fulfills our mandate as a ministry to have the youth formalize their business into the mainstream economy. Tobacco farming is well organized industry due to the hard work of our key stakeholders such as the Tobacco Research, uh, Research Board, Tobacco Industry Marketing Board and the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. It empowers our youth and the country to earn much needed foreign currency. 
Tobacco industry ya karongeka. Mu tobacco industry tunaona mapato anofana na ne Tobacco Research Board, Tobacco Industry Marketing Board (TRMB) ya baba gurele nyika Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Ese na pandiko aya. Akuita kuti vaite muone mapambe, uchaita kuti vachibiki, vaone upenyu wakanaka. Upenyu unaita kuti Vice Mayusa Muhomwe. His Excellency, the President E.D. Manigaga, values the youth as a key pillar in nation building and economic development. The youth constitute the majority of our population, and therefore we must empower them to take part in the country's economic revolution and shaping its economic future. This is the reason why His Excellency launched Empower Bank, the Youth Bank, in July 2018. Our youth engagement in the past few years has given us good insight into the challenges that our youth are facing to access economic empowerment. The youth face various challenges in accessing funding for their business projects. It is against this background that Empower Bank has sought to craft solutions that address the needs of youth, the youth. Dollars in loans last year. There must be done. There must be more done. And this year, we will do that. We will provide more loans to all of youth. Youth business startup making. Monday, July 2021. Charlie Fort and Richard Kuti. Kuvira Bamba. Abaka Nanta. Bamba the youth empowerment bank. Rakoni sa kupiti sana mali na kuona hundred and twenty million kutiende kumayuti easy chama kisi zita ito upeni wama yuti ukudiri re maokoko. and West in Magunje where we are having a field day in terms of tobacco farming. Now if you look at it, tobacco farming contributes well over uh, half of the, our requirements as a country in terms of foreign currency income. Now viewers, we encourage you to be a part of these conversations. Feel free to get in touch with the producer Wazanae Manyore. It's on 0772-807-506. Alternatively, you can like our Facebook page, Agribusiness with Wazanae. We are also now available on YouTube. And we are Agribusiness with Wazanae. Make a follow-up and, uh, and make a comments and suggestions on our YouTube channel, Agribusiness with Wazanae. We are also now available on Twitter. And our Twitter handle there is at Agribusiness110. Now we are going to uh, proceed in our second segment. Stay tuned. Thank you 
Zimbabwe for staying tuned to agricultural new directions and support of Vision 2030. At this point in time, I am joined by the Chief Executive Office of the Empower Bank, Mr. Membere. Mr. Membere, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Waza. Thank you, Zimbabwe. Yes, as you can see, we woke up early today, we drove all the way from Harare here to Mabuja, uh, Mashumba area, to Shuma area to be precise. And can you maybe tell us what motivated or what inspired the bank to partner with you? We are a government bank who specifically created to empower young people. If you look at section 20 of the constitution, uh, I think part C, it implores government to create uh, employment and economic empowerment. Okay. Okay. So we are actually fulfilling that constitutional mandate. Okay. So the youth, what does it take for a youth? Because we often hear issues around collateral, uh, and the banking, our financial institutions, they require collateral. For a youth here in Zimbabwe, what are the prerequisites for him to be considered for a loan facility with the bank? There are two things, main things that we consider. The first thing is they must be young people below 35 years. Okay. The second issue is they must have a viable business project that they want funded. Okay. And uh, the other things like collateral are things that we make uh, on together with them to look for solutions to make sure that our investment is secure. Okay. Finally, as we round off, uh, Mr. Membere, you highlighted that you also want to ensure that your investment is secure. It is a win-win situation. Yes. Some of the attributes or characteristics that you might want to highlight to our farming community, especially the youth, for them to partner with you, and also even issues surrounding loan repayment. Your word of advice, your sentiments to the youth here in Zimbabwe as we pay for it towards the Vision 2030. Vision 2020, 2030 is for everyone, and as Empower Bank, we want to empower everyone. So when we give young people loans, we want them to work very hard on their projects so that they are successful. Okay. And secondly, when they are successful, we want them to fully pay these loans. Okay. Because fully paying loans will help us to give more youth and also for them to come back to us for even more youth, I mean more, more loans. Okay. For instance, we have funded young people half in their one hectare. If they are able to repay their first loans, we can even grow their hectare to two to three, even to ten years. Uh, you never know. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Membere. It was a pleasure having you with us today. Thank you, Aza. Thank you, young people of Zimbabwe. Get involved in business. We can fund you for all the economic sectors of Zimbabwe, not only tobacco. We can fund mining. We can also even fund tourism. Okay. Thank you, young people of Zimbabwe. Thank you. Okay. Thank you as well for staying tuned to Agricultural New Directions and support of Vision 2030. At this point in time, I have taken the liberty of inviting Ms. Ruroku Mirai. She is the board chairman of the Empower Bank right here in Zimbabwe. Ms. Kumirai, thank you for joining us today. Yes, I would like us to talk about uh, helping our youth participate in agriculture. How are you involving everyone? Because if you look at the blueprint of uh, Vision 2030, it talks of involving everyone. We are not going to be leaving anyone behind. How are you as an institution making sure that every youth in Zimbabwe is uh, given an opportunity to partner with you or access loan facilities? I'm glad that we are here because Rungwe district and uh, we are back and beyond but we are here as empowerment. We are also here on your Twitter, we are also here on your YouTube, we are also here in your press. So we are speaking to our youth wherever they are. Okay. And I think our youth feel that they are reaching us and they are, uh, we are reaching them rather. Okay. Okay. Now if you look at SDG number 17, it speaks of public-private partnerships. It encourages partnerships to ensure that our economy uh, is successful and we make a living out of it as a country to get something here and there. You would see that in our economy we have issues surrounding unemployment of the youth, we have issues surrounding import substitution, we have issues surrounding budget deficit where uh, our government's uh, budget is often being overburdened by us, the citizens, or by financial institutions. How are you ensuring that these that I've highlighted are being addressed through your partner relative? So first of all, you spoke about value chains. Yes. Um, we are about empowering youth in enterprise. But we get that enterprise is not just enough to give them money. Yes. We leave them outside of the vibrant economy. So we partner them through value chains like we have here, where the youth are getting support from inputs, they're getting training from professional farmers, they're getting off-takers so they don't have to have their product not bought. And that ecosystem around them is what creates that viability. Okay. We also had a young person who was employing his own young people, and that's already contributing to empowerment. The farmer of this crop right here 
had his own employees uh, after being supported by power bank. So okay. I think it's speaking to all of the SDGs that you just mentioned. Okay, finally, as we round off our segment, we have come to the end of this segment. Your word of advice to the youth here in Zimbabwe, to our farming community here in Zimbabwe, in terms of taking up agriculture. If you look at statistics, it shows that where Zimbabwe is a youthful country. 67% of our population is made up of youth. Your advice to the youth here in Zimbabwe. I think let's capitalize on what is an advantage to us. Okay. We are young, we are agile. And now there's a bank that's available to you that's trying to speak to your needs. Take up the opportunity. Let's not be lazy. Let's not be complacent. I think if we work hard on our own, we have what it takes to uplift ourselves. And pretty soon empowerment will no longer be a conversation where somebody else is trying to empower us. We're empowering ourselves. There you had it. You are this was the board uh, chairperson of Empowerment right here in Zimbabwe, telling the youth to participate in agriculture so that we can pave way towards achieving vision 2030 as a country. On that note, we're going to go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back with this and more in the third and final segment. Stay tuned. Welcome back viewers, we are in the third and final segment of your program, Agricultural New Directions, Agribusiness in support of Vision 2030, and we are here in the third and final segment, stay tuned. Thank you Zimbabwe for staying tuned to Agricultural New Directions, Agribusiness. We are here in the third and final segment of your program and at this point in time I've taken the liberty of inviting Mr. Innocent Masumungure. He is a technical officer in Urungwe here in Mashonaland West. Innocent, thank you for joining us today. Okay. Um, as TMB we represent the, uh, the government and okay. we are the enforcers. And uh, all in all, what we need to do is we just need to ensure that the farmers benefit, the contractor benefits. So it's, it's got to be a win-win situation for, for the farmer and the contractor. Okay. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is when somebody is contracted, we've got to make sure that they don't set marketing. Set marketing is a big cancer in okay. the tobacco industry. Yes. Yes. So we've got to try and make sure that we don't kill the industry ourselves. Ourselves meaning the farmers. Okay. Set marketing. Yes. Okay. So there's got to be a win-win situation. Yes. Innocent, as we get into our discussion, I want you to highlight your role as the regulatory authority of the tobacco industry marketing board. Here we are with the senior partnership between if, uh, youthful farmers and uh, a bank who is financing their activities. Where do you come in as the regulatory authority? We are talking of tobacco production. Your sentiments? Okay. okay. For tobacco, it's garbage in, garbage out. Okay. Yes. What, I'm, what I mean by that is every, every step of the way in tobacco production is equally important. Okay. So it starts from land preparation. It's got to be done on time and in time. And then the fertilization is got to be done, done timelessly. Okay. And also, again, the, the placement. Chemical application, the same applies. It's okay. got to be on time and uh, placement is got to be correct. And then we go on to uh, apical bud removal or topping, in other words. It's got to be, again, to be done on time. We're encouraging farmers to do um, bud topping and early. It's got to be done early and low. Okay. So, and from, so it's from planting, from, from seedlings to planting to reaping to curing, everything has got to be on point. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Innocent. That was very detailed. Indeed, site marketing is a cancer. It is, it is eating into our, our profits as well as a country. You would find that most of the contractors will end up with nothing because they are also in need of protecting their investment. You touched on that. Uh, moving right along, Innocent, you would find that whenever quality or quantity is raised, quality is compromised. We have a nexus between the quality and the quantity. Your sentiments, what would you like to say to our youthful farming community in terms of maintaining quality and quantity throughout the various stages of production in tobacco? Okay. Okay. The big challenge right now with our farmers yes. is, or that's going to affect uh, their, their growing of tobacco, is grow viability. Okay. Yes. So in other words, they need to manage their costs. Again, maximizing on productivity. Okay. So that they have uh, a good amount of money on their return or in their pocket. Okay. Yes. So I'd say grow viability, manage your costs, and do the tobacco uh, crop properly. Okay. And and yes, thank you so much, Innocent. You are in your uh, rightful, in, uh, in these terms, a tobacco expert. You must allow to interact with the tobacco farmers, especially uh, and specifically. As we round off this segment, Innocent, I want you to touch on uh, your sentiments generally in terms of tobacco production. You will 
terms of advice to our youthful farming community in terms of producing tobacco? Because we are talking of farming as a long term investment, whereby the youth might look at it and say, just because I've grown tobacco, I'm going to be making money. I guarantee. Your word of advice to our farming community, you are a youth yourself. You do interact with the youth who produce tobacco. As we round off your word of advice. Okay, it's a big one, that one. It's a big threat onto the industry, especially for the small scale production. So, what, what, what's, what's been happening for the past couple of years is TIMB in partnership with SA, S A A, okay. uh, Sustainable Afforestation Association, is the way planting trees, which is afforestation. Okay. Okay, to try and counter on the deforestation that's happening due to tobacco production. And there are also programs that um, should be on way or underway uh, uh, to try and uh, curb uh, deforestation. That is to say, to try and um, uh, look for curing facilities that may be used for small-scale producers okay but they will have to use them in in batches or in groups then that's that's co cured okay so we're trying to run away from deforestation thank you so much innocent it was a pleasure having you with us today there you had it viewers on that note we have come to the end of this week's edition in the words of innocent masunungure a technical officer here in uh Urungwe, he was talking of sustainability in tobacco production we have issues surrounding deforestation whereby our farmers are using firewood as the curing uh, agent for our tobacco. From me, your host was Zanae Manyore. I'm also on Instagram. It's a W Manyore. And the crew behind the scenes. Have yourselves a fabulous evening. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for staying tuned to Agricultural New Directions, Agribusiness, and Support of Vision 2030. forget 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 Kazora. The Rimuts may wear she dicky, we youth wear she dick one assy. No remand, you know, commercial in the West, Rumwe province, the Ripanya Macate, no Rima Bells, the Gassiana Siana, Chiba Gain, Zungu, as the Pandanya, no battery, a perforger. No one want to forge, you know, owns a marine of Kurumbiz, a forger, you know, owns a cash mumaoko. Chandra Daguna so Batsiro Mamas, my HDK, Jouting Gatsa Gari, Maoko, Ziza Kushandam Chansa Maoko, Musamir Maria Gupi, Wana Baba, Yokupu, Wana Baba, and Yaku Zereza. You are some Zima, HDK, Ziza Gushandra, Muriako, Uchirima, Ushenda Okumunda. It was, you know, Kune Bengi and Poor Bengi, Nengeshu Batsirai, Moenda, Mopa, Mopor Batsiro, Morima, Momiri, Mosamiri, Kutamad Zokupiwa. That is the same as Mazimai, Tubudiri, Vision 2030. We have a Mukupendera, <laughs> Riyazo kunye pera na utimuna ane mwana umudiki a a shande mazima ite sarare ine samukano dati shande ine utimuna iye ando dauri ritiro ane wesa kwa kutindi lugu ya misa andi shande mwana iye ano fani nzara. Tenda shukuru a forget kwa zura ni ungori ba chilengwani sisi. Tenda mafit. It was a pleasure hanging out with farmers in Mashonda and West, where we're looking at uh, issues surrounding tobacco production, mainly encompassing the youth and even women in agriculture. It was a pleasure having you with us on this week's edition. Uh, from me, your host was Zanae Manyore. I'm also on Instagram. It's a W Manyore. And the crew behind the scenes, have yourselves a fabulous evening. Thank you for watching. <laughs>